saw the sand castle. Why is that you? The Macron is impressed, as you will discover when he eats. I don't care. Soon we'll know more about the strong than their own mothers. Assuming they have mothers. I'll get back to your man. Kill the human fool. Welcome back to the TC Admin Tutorial. This is part 2 of 2. Yes, it's the final part. In this tutorial I shall be showing you how to change your password and email settings, assign sub-admins and users, set up your FTP server and game switching. So let's crack on. To change your administrator password, first locate and click on this funny icon in the main administration screen. A new page will load and ask you to enter your old password followed by your new password and a confirmation of that password. Once you've completed that, click on the change button at the bottom of the page. You should receive a confirmation that your password has changed by this notice at the top of the screen. Your email details are important to TC Admin. Whenever a server changes or is set up, these details are sent to you via email. So let's see how we set up our email details. First, locate and click on the icon called My Details. Once the page is refreshed, then you will see lots of fields which you can enter your details into. You can provide as little or as much information as you like. However, there are two important fields which you should definitely fill in, and these are the primary and secondary email. Once you have finished entering your details, then click on the Save button at the bottom of the page. Now when a server is set up, or changes, then you should receive an email. Sub-admins are people who you as an administrator trust to do work on your server. You can assign different tasks to sub-admins by using more than one group. I'll show you how to set up one sub-admin group to work on your server. From the main administrator screen, locate and click on the icon called Sub-admin Groups. On the next screen you will notice that there aren't any sub-admin groups. At the bottom of the page, look for a button marked New Group and click on it. A new page will load. You can ignore the first field Group ID. In the field Group name, enter what you want your group to be called. Here I've put My Sub-admins. Next, choose what you want that group of sub-admins to access by choosing the appropriate checkbox. Now you can click on the Save button at the bottom of the page. A new message will pop up informing you the sub-admin group has been saved. You can further limit access to specific areas of TC Admin by clicking on the button Page Access. A new page will load and you'll be able to limit what pages can be accessed by your sub-admin group. Now we've set up our sub-admin group, we can move on to creating our first user as a sub-admin. From the main administration screen, locate and click on Users. A new page will load. As you can see there is already one user on the system called Admin, which is the main administrator. Click on the button marked New User. Another page will load. Now we can start entering the details of the new user. First enter the user ID. This is the login name of the new user. Here I've put CJ. You can also enter the first and last name of the user. Next enter the password for that user. Now enter the type you want to set the user to, either user, sub-admin or admin. Here we're going to pick sub-admin. If you choose sub-admin then you'll have to assign from the group of sub-admins. Remember that sub-admin group we set up earlier? Finally enter the important primary and secondary email addresses. Now click on the save button. You should get a message that a new user has been created. To set up an FTP server, first locate and click on the FTP accounts icon from the main administration page. A new page will load. In the drop down box marked server, select master server and then click on the view button. Another page will load. If you already have FTP users, then you will see their details. However, I don't, so we're going to set up a new user. Now click on the new button at the bottom of the page. A new page will load. In the server field, make sure master server is selected. 
Enter your FTP login name into the field marked user ID. Next enter a password into the password field. Now you have to choose the directory you want to allow FTP into. Click on the browse button and navigate to where you want the files to be stored. To make sure you can read from and write to the directory, select can read and can write and then click save. Once you hit save a new FTP user will be created. All you have to do now is log in using the username and password you set up on port 21. Remember to set your FTP client to passive mode to log in. Game switching is another method of control for your users. It presents the user with a list of servers which they can switch to and from. To enable game switching, first locate and click on the gaming services icon. Next take notice of the server owners. Here I've changed the BF2 and BF2142 servers to owner CJ. You can do this by clicking on the server and then clicking on server settings. Remember this screen from creating your server in part 1? Next move down to other settings. Here you can change the owner by clicking on the owner drop down box. We are also going to enable game switching by clicking on the checkbox. You only need to do this for one server. When you have set the owner and enabled game switching then click on the save button. Now return to the main administration screen and look for the game switching icon. Click on this and you should be brought to this page. In the user drop down box select your game switching user, here it's CJ. Next select the service group you want to add servers to, in this case it's group 1. The run in at once field allows you to run more than one server at a time. Here we're leaving it at 1 so the user can only run one server at a time. In order for us to do some switching we need to add another server, in this case a BF2142 server whose owner is CJ. Click on the add to group drop down and select the BF2142 server. All you need to do to add the server to the list is click the update button. Now when CJ logs in he'll be able to use the game switching icon and choose between the two servers. To add additional buttons to TC Admin, find server settings from the main administration, then click on custom links. When the page refreshes you'll be presented with a screen like this. Here I'm creating a link to Google for the main administration screen. You can customise TC Admin even more by creating your own template for your clan or group. First click on the server settings from the main admin screen, then click on template config. You can import your own TC Admin config using the import button or you can create a new template by clicking on the new button. When you finish creating your template click on the save button. You can see what your template looks like by clicking on interface and then selecting the template from the TC Admin login screen. Unfortunately that's the end of this tutorial. Remember there are more tutorials on Art of War Central's website.